Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. In this video, I am going to discuss another important topic in distillation, distillation column troubleshooting. This course will be presented in two part series. Part 1 Operation Related Troubleshooting Part 2 Hydraulic Related Troubleshooting In this video course, you will learn Introduction to Troubleshooting Problems Faced in Distillation Column Troubleshooting of Water Quality Related Problems Arising from Operation Please subscribe to the channel by subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. Troubleshooting is the process of technically analyzing and correcting the cause for a shift in process or operating parameters in an equipment. The shift in process or operating parameters could have undesirable performance outcome if left unnoticed and unattended in time. Troubleshooting is a skill developed through application of engineering knowledge and operational experience. Distillation process is normally a steady state operation, but can become dynamic under abnormal and emergency conditions. A distillation process running steady and delivering performance as per design can get upset by varieties of reasons. The consequence of these upsets depend on the nature and the intensity of variations. Problems in distillation column can be categorized into two types, operation related and hydraulic related. Operation related issues arise from deviation in operating parameters from the steady state values. Hydraulic related issues arise from performance of column internals. The problems usually faced in the operation of a distillation column are fouling or foaming, flooding, low product purity, higher pressure drop, low reflux, low boil up, distributor plugging, tray damage. One or more of these problems when experienced by the column will lead to reduced capacity or loss of efficiency. Reduced capacity or loss of efficiency leads to loss of production which leads to lower profit. How do we shoot the problems and bring the process back to normalcy? In some situations, these individual problems are interrelated. In some others, the problem may manifest itself independently. You should use the skill filters to think through the problem and identify the root cause of the problem. Troubleshooting is a three-step process. Identify the problem, collect data and make technical analysis, take corrective action. Several approaches are followed to identify reasons for the process upset and take corrective actions. In general, technical analysis of process problems make use of instrumentation in the column, laboratory analysis, online diagnostic methods. In many instances, appropriate corrective action will be sufficient to return the process to normal performance. In some situations, preventive actions are required as a long-term solution to prevent recurrence of the problems. Design deficiency in the column and column internals as well as other ancillary systems will need permanent solution to address the suboptimal or non-performance of the column.
distillation column troubleshooting, operation related problems. Distillation column in a process plant is not an independent system. It functions in a connected system environment. Changes in connected system environment impacts column performance. Impacts from connected system include variation in external environments such as feed composition, utilities conditions such as steam pressure and cooling water as well as refrigerant operating conditions and compressor performance in heat integrated technologies. One of the most frequently faced problem in distillation column is a drop in separation performance. The ultimate impact of poor separation performance is poor product quality. The result is OSPEC product and loss of production. OSPEC reprocessing incur additional processing cost and increases the cost of production. Let us consider for example a propane propylene splitter in a petrochemical plant. The column design parameters and energy balance is illustrated in this figure. The column which has been operating normal and producing product propylene as per design specification of 99.5%. The product samples are analyzed two times a shift to confirm that the product meets the specification limit. In one of the samplings on the eventful day, the quality control lab reported the product purity has fallen below the specification to 98.99%. The product is hospital and the first action by the DCS operator is to change over the rundown tank. How do you troubleshoot this quality problem and return the column operation to normal? The first step is to collect data from the DCS from the historian for the temperature profile and pressure drop across the column in the rectification and stripping section. Next is to analyze the data if there is a shift from the steady state values. Look at the historic trend of the temperatures at the top, feed stage and bottom of the column. Look at the historic trend of reflux flow and reboiler steam flow rate. Is there a noticeable change? If the feed, reflux and steam flows are steady and there is an increase in temperature across the column, it points to change in concentration profile of the liquid and vapor. This could lead to drop in product quality. Now check the results of the bottom product analysis. If the propane concentration heavy key has increased and propylene the light key concentration has decreased, it points to a change in feed quality. Ratio of LK to HK that is propylene to propane has decreased and the feed composition is different from the design feed specification. This may call for a new reflux ratio. Increase the reflux in incremental steps. The column trade temperature will start decreasing and will return to previous steady state temperature values. Wait for the bottom temperature to fall. At this stage, increase the steam flow in incremental steps. Wait for the system to stabilize for two hours. Take distillate and bottom samples for analysis. If the results justify the action taken, increase the reflux and reboil steam flows gradually till the column stabilizes. Product becoming OSPEC is typical operational problem in a distillation column across several industries. Systematic data collection, analysis and resolution will enable the column to return to normalcy with the minimum production loss. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your spec eLearn channel is one-stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career-oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. 
so do not forget to subscribe please press the subscribe button now troubleshooting with simulation application of process simulation packages in situations such as this is extremely useful to solve the problem let us look at the results produced by the process simulator for the present problem for the simulation we define the following column specification for the condenser and reboiler reflex ratio 9.1179 boiler ratio 213.891 These figures are same as the ones under the column under stable operation. Feed conditions are the same at 25 degree centigrade and 25.2 bar. Change the feed composition or increase the MOS fraction in steps, still you get the product purity 98.99%. Note that the column feed remains the same, only the feed quality changes, that is, the propane concentration increases. The simulation converges when the feed composition values are propane 6.13%, propylene 93.87%, distillate product composition propane 1.007%, propylene 98.99%, bottom product composition propane 99.56%, propylene 0.44%. The simulation results are presented in the figure here. When the feed concentration changes from 5.43% to 6.13% in respect of propane, the distillate product purity decreases from 99.5% to 98.99%. The column top, feed stage and column bottom temperatures have changed as shown. This confirms our analysis based on mapping the temperature profile in the column for troubleshooting. The simulation results matches with the actual lab results. The steps taken following the column offset is in line with the simulation results. The variable that contributed to the drop in distillate product purity when all the operating conditions were normal was a change in feed quality. In multi-component distillation columns, unlike binary columns, fixing temperature and pressure does not fix the composition. In spite of this limitation, temperature control can still be used to meet many composition specifications. Loss of efficiency Poor separation performance due to loss of column efficiency is another reason for poor product quality. The factors attributable to loss of efficiency can vary depending on the type of column used for separation, tray column or packed column. Hence, we need to consider the two devices separately for troubleshooting analysis. Factors affecting tray column separation efficiency. One of the most common problems attributable to dropping product quality caused by loss of separation efficiency is tray damage. Tray damage will seriously impact the column operation. Tray damage will affect the quality of products with the consequent loss of production or unexpected shutdown of the plant. The types of Tray damage one may encounter in tray column operation or dismantling of trays from the tray support rings, buckling or bending of trays, dismantling of tray segment from the tray decks. Vibrations can also cause dismantling of trays during operation as well as process upsets. The earlier the problem is identified and corrected, the lesser will be the loss and the cost to rectify it. Trays are supported on the tray support ring by clamps. 
It is possible that the clamps get loosened due to vibrations resulting in collapse or bending of the trees. Many times a tray segment is lifted off the tray deck leaving the area open for gas and liquid bypassing. Possible causes include vibration produced by vapor liquid traffic through the column during stable operation, flooding or emergency shutdown. Continued operation under flooded condition can lead to tray damage. Flooding can be detected by analyzing the historic operating pressure drop data against the estimated pressure drop data for the same load. High pressure drop may be due to high vapor rate or clogging of downcomers. Illustrated in this figure is a typical sieve tray. The collapse of complete tray leads to a situation where the column is short of one theoretical stage. How collapse of one tray segment causes a hydraulic disturbance in the column is depicted in this figure. This will reduce the column separation efficiency affecting the quality of the top and bottom products. The collapsed tray may fall and rest on the active tray below affecting its functions also. In a column with a large number of trees, collapse of one tray may not lead to noticeable decrease in pressure drop. But in a column with smaller number of trees, it may be noticeable. Factors affecting packed column separation efficiency. Like tray columns, packed columns also face operational problems related to column internals. Packed column internals include distributors and redistributors, packed bed, packing supports and bed limiters, and chimney trays. Insulation of column internals is an important activity during plant construction. The internals are placed and secured properly to sustain smooth and efficient operation. It is common practice to do the installation under supervision by installation experts from the internal supplier. The distributor must be in place without any disturbance with respect to the original installation position during operation. This is required to ensure that the liquid is uniformly distributed over the packing. The vapor liquid traffic through the bed is smooth without any vapor bypassing or channeling. Under these conditions, the packing efficiency will meet the design values. Distributors do not ignore the role of distributors in packed column performance. Liquid distributors affect to a great extent the performance of the packing for a specific separation. Liquid mold distribution has a great negative impact on column performance. Liquid mold distribution is the result of uneven liquid flow from the distributor to the top section of the packing. There are several factors that contribute to liquid mold distribution. Mold distribution may be caused by distributor dislocation, blocking of holes in the distributor. This is an illustration of a distributor in a packed column filled with structured packing. One of the holes in one arm of the distributor is plugged with a solid deposit as indicated by the red spherical ball. The effect of this clogging is that the area of the bed of packing just below the plugged hole is deprived of liquid and as a result the packing is not get, getting irrigated in this area. This part of the packed bed is not participating in separation. Due to lack of wetting in the depth of packing below the blocked hole, the overall bed efficiency decreases. You all know that the HETP is a measure of packing efficiency. When the packing efficiency decreases, the HETP increases. To account for mold distribution, 
an efficiency factor is introduced to the HETP calculated. So HETP operation equal to HETP times EB by 100. HETP OP is operating HETP due to mole distribution. EB is the bit efficiency in percentage which depends on the extent of mole distribution. The bit effective number of theoretical stages NTS can be calculated by NTS equal to Z by operating HETP. Thus, because of mole distribution of the liquid, you need more number of theoretical stages for the given separation. Since the height of the packed section in the operating column is fixed, the separation is impacted and the column cannot produce product as per quality specification. To shut down the column and take out the distributor for cleaning, identify the reason for the plugging of holes and take corrective action to avoid getting surprises and unscheduled shutdowns like this. Problems related to associated equipment in the distillation system. Problems related to associated equipment can also lead to column instability. For a given column where number of trays and diameters are fixed with fixed feed flow and quality, distillation bottom product compositions are influenced by reflex ratio and boil up ratio. Reflex and boil up are provided by other process equipment installed as a part of the system. These are reboiler, reboiler circulation pump, reflex pump. Performance of each of these equipment will impact the column performance. Hence, it is appropriate to cover these equipment also in the troubleshooting of distillation column. Internal vapor liquid traffic and Hence, distillate and bottom parts composition are largely influenced by the performance of the reboiler. Insoluble deposits either entering along with the feed or formed by decomposition of the process fluid in the column can cause fouling of the reboiler tubes affecting the boil up and impact the separation and capacity of the column. Gradually, over a period of time, they form layers of scale on the tube surface, affecting the heat transfer. The fouling of the reboiler tubes is a common phenomenon in many refining and petrochemical plants at high temperature. Reduction of plant capacity will be required to maintain the quality of the product. Ultimately, plant needs to be shut down to clean the reboiler. Anti-fouling polymers can be used in certain applications if compatibility of the process and the product is not an issue. Anti-fouling polymers have been used by companies with varying degree of success. Illustrated in this figure is an anti-fouling polymer dosing system to reduce fouling of reboilers. The lean solution of polymer is injected to feed line as shown in the sketch. Anti-falling polymers work by keeping the deposits in suspension, thereby reducing the rate of falling. Reboiler tube cleaning is delayed but not prevented. Anti-falling polymers are not suitable for applications where product compatibility is an issue. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.